right, folks. Um, okay, it's Monday the... I'm sure it's the 25th. Yeah, 25th of March, 2019. The link uh, for this story will be in the description. It's by um, Georgette Colley. It's about Gambia in Africa. Well, it's not called Gambia anymore. It's called Granbia. Because all the grannies are going to cross there to try and have sex with young black guys. Gambia has become a sex paradise for British grands that make Magaluf look tame. Well, you know, they should get up here where I live. You know? A horny granny grinds against her Grambian toy boy at the bar, her Zimmer frame screeching back and forth as they thrust. <laughs> Nearby a silver-haired siren snogs her Jim honed lover while he squeezes her saggy bottom. <laughs> look at the three there. Look at the, the two, the two uh, African boys. Look, he's, he's a reggae dude. Look at her. Look at this shit here. She absolutely loves it, didn't she? She doesn't get that back when she's a housekeeper or... A cleaner or something. Look, look at her there. Look at this one in the middle. Well, well she's actually quite nice. <laughs> anyway, let's move to it. Look. Oh, there's another one. Look, there's the one grinding. She's grinding against a guy. Look. <laughs> What's that all about? Gambia has become a sex paradise for retired Brits with Randy Grands indulging in good times with local young men. Outside a pensioner is devouring her young cats. <laughs> oh god. The pair kiss each other greedily before she drags him back to her tail. Welcome to Granbia, the West African sex paradise for retired Brits who make youngsters parting uh, and Magaluf look tame. Oh god. No, but she's good there, man. I wrote this. A grey fog of smoke from cigarettes and weed wafts to the top of a palm tree with her two OOP siblings below. The pair are pushed up against the bar, giggling like naughty teenagers as their toy boys tickle and tease them. <laughs> That's bizarre. Bake off judge. Judge Leith called Gambia a real-life Tinder dream for geriatrics. <laughs> There's another one walking down the street, look. Oh, my God. Oh, holy Toledo. I don't know why you've blurred her face. I want to see her face. The sun went there to have a look themselves. English guys are a bit vulgar, but the Gambian men I've met have been romantic. Let's <laughs> try to get money out of them. Oh, for women of a certain age, you feel they have become invisible to men back home in Britain. You're not invisible to me. <laughs> Oh, there's, a, there's one there, look. So what we've got here is that's obviously that's obviously some boozers or some shack somewhere in Africa. Uh, just near the beach and they've put this up, this sort of windbreaker thing up. Uh, there's one of the workers obviously rolling a joint. Um, and here's a granny. The granny's the one with the beer, do you notice? And look at this dude, his trousers are falling down. He's not even got a belt, right? You can't believe his luck, he's like that. No, and I've got another granny. He's got his wife and Wayne's back at his house. <laughs> but there's another one. She's not even. She can't even walk. Look at this guy. <laughs> there must be a shortage of women there. I'll tell you. Oh, look at her there. She's she's sending a ta text back to her kids. Yes, um, we're just in town just now. We're going to be going to a couple of museums. Um, it's a wonderful city. <laughs> she's sending a lie over here. A young black guy. Oh God! Well, here's what's this here. Love cost me two hundred grand. Oh, loved up Margaret Sarr, seventy-one, squandered two hundred grand of her life savings on a Gambian lover, toy boy. The great grand from Crawley, West Sussex, met handsome Samba Sarr, now forty-eight, while on holiday with her British husband. So she met him when, when she was in holiday with her, with her own husband. Holy Toledo! She started visiting the horse riding instructor twice a year. And her 38 year old marriage broke down in 2004. The following year, she wed Samba. Now she's getting married to the guy. Retired Margaret returned to work in the NHS. Uh, admin work to support her new layabout husband, who denied cheating on her with several, husband, uh, several uh, women his own age. In 2010, she received pictures of him with two kids he had fathered with his lover. Uh, 
Now they have now they have divorced and she is locked in a legal battle over ownership of a compound in Gabba. She she invested ninety grand in, but she put it in his name. <laughs> Look at her there. She left her nine kids. Nine. She's got nine kids. Work that man out. Uh, various ages from six or up to twenty eight, I think, uh, to go for a month to stay with a with a Gambian dude. It's a joke, isn't it? That's what you call desperate. Listen, just go on plenty of fish, right? You don't need to go to Gambia. You get me on plenty of fish. <laughs> right, okay, folks, that's 5.43. Oh, that was brilliant. I enjoyed that. I think, uh, well, there's no point in me going to Gambia. Right, okay. Peace out.